But in 500 million years, something will have a much bigger impact on our climate than us or this cycle. The sun. Small, subtle changes our star has been going through all this time finally become apparent, and its effects are felt on Earth like never before. As a main sequence star, our Sun is constantly fusing hydrogen into helium in its core. Since helium is heavier than hydrogen, over millions of years the Sun's core is becoming denser and more contracted. Because of this, the outer layers of the Sun move closer to the center too, and in the process, gravitational potential energy is released as heat and light. This increases the pressure and temperature of the core, which in turn accelerates the rate of fusion. The result is that the Sun increases its energy output and in turn its brightness as it ages. This has consequences. As the Sun gets hotter and brighter, it's also getting wider because of the extra energy being produced in the core. The Sun is stuck in the middle of a game of tug-of-war between two forces, this outward pushing force generated by nuclear fusion and the inward pull of the star's own gravity. On the whole, this system looks stable, but zoom out to a timescale of billions of years and you can see that it isn't. As more and more hydrogen is used up, the Sun's core slowly starts collapsing, while the outer layers grow larger. Right now, the Sun is getting over 1% brighter every 100 million years. So, in 500 million years, the Sun will be about 5% brighter than today, 